Welcome back. We've opened up the elevator in the middle here, or teleporter, or lift, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it does, but we need to do the rounds before we head on down there. So, we've walked quite the road to get here. And there's only one rivalry left, and once it's over, this story will come to a close. Let's do everything in our power to make sure it ends on a good note. Right. After all, what else is the Radiant Wings for? I don't know if I'm overstepping my bounds here, but promise me you'll never give up, even if you find yourself staring into the very abyss itself. Of course, Muse. You have my word. Good. Then it's a promise. Operation Jormungand and Operation Millimirage falls to us to keep them from clashing in a full-scale confrontation. You said you won't give up. Well, you can count on us here to have your back. Right, make sure we're sorted there. Right. Goyas. Our next opponent is the strongest member of our Oberos. And the fight we had in the Growl of Erebos only gave us a glimpse at his true power. Yeah, this time it's going to be the real deal. We'll have to pull out all the stops if we're going to stand a chance of winning. My thoughts exactly. No retreat. No surrender. Scree. <laughs> Sounds like Zio's raring to go already. We should follow his lead. Andreen, don't think even for a second of doing this alone. We're all here with you. Trust in us. Of course. Thank you, guys. Why don't you trust in me and tell me what you know about these possible worlds, eh, guys? I don't think I didn't see you throwing dots around the place. We'll soon be facing the most formidable member of all of our Barbaros. So don't go thinking we'll let you throw yourself into the fire alone, Reen. Got your back, just tell us where you need us. I need you here, telling me what you what you know. Uh, Scree, yes, I agree. Quite. With this Fender sword of mine, strengthened alongside you, my friends, and the old class seven members, I'll head into this final battle. Empowered even further with the feelings of my father, mother, uncle, and brother entrusted to me. Thanks, Kurt. I knew I could count on you. Of course, Instructor. My ancestor, Roland Vander, never shied away from his duty to Emperor Dracles. Now I have to live up to that legacy. Just as he did, I'll face any opponent and defeat them with my own jewel blades. Ancestor, Roland Vander, never shied away. I have to live up to that legacy. Oh, blades. Hmm, same again. Here you've got a major hurdle to clear before you reach the final rivalry. The Blazing Demon. Ouroboros is enforcer number one. A being who wields savage alien flames beyond our understanding. You guys always seem a little prickly when it comes to McBurn. Do you have a history with him or something? I mean, not to bring up any painful memories if it's a sensitive subject. I'm sorry, Reen, I... Don't mean to make things more complicated. Once you face him yourself, you'll understand. Right now, don't worry about what he is so much as taking him down. Right. I'll do that. Tell me. If we are to face McBurn, please allow me to join the fray as well. We'll stop his violent flames from consuming everything in his path. Tell me what you know. You never know. You might actually learn something from facing off against the Blazing Demon. But for now, just concentrate on overcoming whatever stands in your way. Like so far, you guys are the ones standing in my way by not telling me what's going on. Mm. The only thing left now is the final rivalry. I'm starting to feel like a broken record with this, but let's show them what we're made of, Reen. Though before we get there, we need to do something about Robo Ross's strongest first. Right. The deciding battle is right at our doorstep now. We'll tackle it together, Instructor. We'll give it our everything, right up through the final moment. You can count on me. It's starting to feel like a broken record with this, but let's show them what we're made of, Reen. If it's us on the job, then there's no such thing as an insurmountable challenge. <clears throat> Have we ever failed before? Yes. They, yes, the end of Cold Steel 3. Hey, Laura. Doing a little training? Yes, seeing my sword always helps me find my center. It also reminds me of my father and everything he did to help us come this far. In any case, if all things come to fruition, 
on the main stage. We must finish our own tasks. Of course. Looking back, I still can't believe how much we've been through in such a short time. The times would be lost. Others would experience loss. In the end, we've certainly gained quite a bit. Yeah, I think you're right. But if we don't stop the Great Twilight, we'll end up losing far more. We have to stop that from happening. That much is obvious. The results we're going to achieve are far beyond that, are they not? Sorry. I didn't mean to make it sound like there was any question of that. It's only obvious that we must stop Great Twilight. What we're hoping to achieve is far greater than just that. That in mind, of course, is clear. All we need to do is wield our swords with all our might. And that we do. Elliot, my boy! You seem pretty calm, Elliot. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to make of it myself. Dad's division is mobilizing tomorrow, and even more people will be in danger. My sister and my friends from the Music Academy might be at risk too. But I'm sure that we'll be able to put a stop to this. You got that right. I'll be counting on you, Elliot. I'll play a victory march after we get through this. I hold you to that. If we work together, we can do it. I'll play a victory march after we go through this. No. Hmm. This looks like a good spot to cast a line. It does not. Well, I'm glad we've got no regrets now. It's time for the big finale. I'll help you as much as I can. But I guess we've got another annoying opponent to get through first, huh? Million. And this battle is crucial for us all. You'll serve as Reen's sword, and I shall assist him with mine. And together we'll both become his strength. Yeah, we got his back. When the Great Twilight ends, Crow and Milium will... No, I can't be certain that's what will happen. It's not like there's a precedent. We have to move forward. I need to remain optimistic. Time for the big face-off. I'll help you out the best I can, Reen. Let's stick this out and show everybody what we can do. Sure, good to have you on board, Milium. We've come this far already. All that's left is for Milliam and I to keep pushing through. Forget what the future holds. After all, this is over for now. Focus on the battle with the Ebon Knight. Don't worry about anything else, Reen. Thanks for supporting me until the end, Yusus. Alright. Ooh, hello. Instructor Reen, it's finally time. Preparing for the final battle has made me reevaluate some things. Altina. We already faced many tough situations and overcame them together. This won't be any different. You're right. All we have to do is fight toward the same goal altogether. Just as we always do. And this time, Millium will be assisting. Oh, yeah. And I can also rely on you and push Clam Celeus for the final push. Of course. You can always depend on us. You are it! No, we certainly have overcome a situation like this before. But then all we have to do is fight to achieve our goal altogether, just like we always do. I can't, I can't speak to Clamp Slayers. <laughs> Such a shame. V. Green, finally made it this far. But it's the same as before. The opponent may be stronger than us, but all we can do is try our best. I'll support you with all my strength and the skills I've honed as a Jaeger, a Bracer, and most of all, as a member of Class 7. Thank you, Fee. I'll be able to face our enemies with my head held high. We should be saying that to you. You're always encouraging us. Let's see this through to the end. You bet. Support you with all my strength and the skill of honed as a Jaeger, a Bracer, and most of all, as a member of Class 7. Let's see this through to the end. One more rivalry left. Whether we win or lose is going to decide the fate of the world. We have to win. Kids like Ken and Nana deserve to have a future. Yeah. We'll protect that future. Together. I'm with you until the very end, Instructor. But listen up. This won't be the last time we dive into a fight together. You're not done being our Instructor. You better remember that. I will, Yuna. You're not done being our Instructor. You better remember that. Alright, 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 alright. Hey there, Rain. This is it, huh? We're down to the last rivalry. Yeah. I'll be counting on you and Ordeen to see us through. <laughs> Naturally. 
Before all that, though, we're going to have to do something about McBurn. Valimar and I will be ready to join the fray if need be. But ultimately, it all comes down to your own ability to take control of the situation. You're right. Besides, no opponent is truly unbeatable. Exactly. We're going to make it through this thing. I've been with Odin for a long time. I guess this is the end. We can't look back. We have to just keep going forward. Indeed. McBurn will be our final opponent before the rivalry. Must admit I'm intrigued as to how it will go. Though the results of the final rivalry is of even greater importance than any of the previous ones, the rules remain the same. McBurn will be our final opponent. I never doubted we would emerge victorious, and yet, when we defeated the Auric Knight, I was surprised. I suppose with the support of your friends, you are able to transcend the limits of your capabilities, far beyond the imagination. Like Yusus said, this is the difference between us and Rufus. Together, we can defeat the Ebon Knight. Yes, I am certain of it. However, it appears we will first need to overcome yet another obstacle. Ouroboros's most powerful enforcer, McBurn the Blazing Demon. Indeed. There's a very unusual aura about him. Valimar, do you have any ideas about the source of his power? I'm afraid I haven't the faintest idea. Which is something I find extremely worrying. What's the matter, Valimar? It is nothing, Ring. In any case, we ought to be wary of those black flames of his. He might be too strong for us to handle without your help. But we'll try to deal with him on our own first. I wish you the best of luck. Our next opponent will be the Blazing Demon. I advise you to be especially cautious, Reen. Indeed. It's almost time to head down. Just a few more people. Ash! Ash, are you reading a book? Yeah, it's not like there's any use in panicking or anything at this point. Tatiana showed up right before the up and practically forced me to take it. And then she had the nerve to start yammering about how I gotta give it back to her. Aww. Sounds like she gave you a good look, Char. Yeah, well, I was looking for a way to wind down anyway. So it's fine, I guess. Anyway, Schwarza, let's kick this final rivalry's ass. I mean, compared to what I, uh, borrowed from Tatiana, you can be so much more. And I'm gonna pay you back. So don't you go dying on me, you hear? Yeah, I hear ya. I'm counting on all of us to make it through this. Let's kick the final rivalry's ass, Schwarza. There's a lot... I've got to make up to you, so don't you go dying at me, huh? Alright, very well. Machias! It's the same as chess. Even if your opponent's strong, it's not over until it's over. You managed to come this far after all. There's nothing that Class 7 can't overcome. I really believe that. Get what you mean. When we're together, strength just welds up non stop inside me. There's a certain strength born only when you're with people you trust. That's something our enemies don't have. This is our best chance of victory. We'll demonstrate our unity as Class 7. Yeah. We've got to do this together. There's a certain strength born only when you're with people you trust. That's something our enemies don't have. Demonstrate our unity as Class 7. Elisa. I just have to keep my... I just have to keep that man in the back of my mind for now. Anyway, Reen, after coming this far, there's no way we can turn back now. I'm going to meet this challenge with everything I've got. And if you get into a tight spot, I'll save you with the Orbital Gear EXA. Thanks, Elisa. I'm glad you'll be with me. I feel the same way. We're going to beat this and secure a future for everyone. Right. We've come this far, we have to keep going. We're going to beat this and secure a future for everyone. Alright, so... That's it according to the map, so let's go. That elevator will take us to the most dangerous part of the fortress. I'll be ready to go. Enter the elevator to begin exploring the last sector. Yes.
Oh, here we go with the music. Imperial Fortress, Central Sector. Guess there ain't a need for words at this point. Yes, we've almost made it to the end. It's been over two years since Class 7 was founded. No time flies. I consider myself lucky to be here with everyone today. I feel exactly the same. Two more adversaries remain here, though they be much more difficult than any of us we've faced. We can handle them all together. The generic monsters on the way keep getting feistier too. What's the job for the soldiers? Don't skip on the top level arts and lost arts when you feel you need them. It's good practice anyway. And don't forget to unleash all the crafts and orders you've got under your belt while you're at it. Well then, let's go. Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Prepare to advance to the final sector of the Imperial Fortress. Right! There you go. This is the music that was in all, like, the little trailers and the character trailers. You can see why, though. It's a good song. It is a good song. This infernal darkness. It's as if it leads straight to Gehenna. Even more so, since the blazing demon is waiting for us ahead. Guess it's up to us to shed some light in here. We are the Radiant Wings, after all. Well, I've skipped them because it's like I was basically waiting on like, them to finish speaking, so... Don't let up. What are these guys, though? Ammo. Hmm, alright then. Not too hard. Attack! Now! Right, let's switch you back over for. Sorry, Usus. just take over! Leave it to me! And let's go. Flare Butterfly. I shall go! Uh, Riona, activate fire! Now! There! I'm going! We need to sort out the links as well. Let's get you there. Burning flames! Purple flare! Ha! It's good because it's on a crit. Lovely. This was a waste of my time. Let's go. Potentially. There's Erda leveling up again. How did I not get the... Oh, I, I suppose, like, when it crashed, I wouldn't have got the exact same amount of XP, would I? That would cause that issue. It's the eyes. You can see we're definitely in the core. There! Now's our chance! Okay, True Helix again. Roar! Uh, helix strike! Now! I'll assist! I shall go. Okay, so we can't use anything there. I might use, actually. It's my turn. Now, let's go with that, because that should get us the option to it. Yes, it to me. To me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Not amazingly, but still. Does at least. Diamond over. Because uh... we're in a crit. Strengthening. Indeed. All right, got stats updated. Bum, 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 bum. Just a chest down there. Oh, just the only way to a chest? Huh. Okay, let's 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 back it up. Maybe there's something else. I didn't see it, but. This guy was only a chest here. A daunting foe. Let's test our might. Ooh, how lovely. Shit. 
Shit! 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 you! A strong enemy! Be careful! Uh, yeah! It's my turn! Helix strike! It's down! Alistair! Leave it to me! On your knees! Now! Attack! My turn. Hmm. Charging! Come forth! Goliath Noah! It's very much thinking now it's a good way to get the CP up. Yeah, yeah. On the turn it's order? The Prominence Nova, which I'll probably skip because we're going to see it so much. Roar! That's not so much, but you know, it's going to come up in a certain fight we're doing well. soon. No doubt. Okay, let's think about doing that. I leave it to you. Leave it to me. I'm doing that to get the MP. Uh, My turn. Okay. Activate Ragorok. Destroy. There. An opening. Let's go. Roar. <gasps> Helix strike. Bye. Okay, so how do I get that other chest, or have I just not missed it? And everyone okay? Stuff loop backs around. A matter of course. <laughs> I, I must train even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's more going on there, isn't there? Okay, there's no way for me to go. Okay. Okay. Now we know. Watch out for the bat. I'm assuming we'll have a bat. Shit. Randomly as part of another fight or something like that. Okay, chest there. Den 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 What purple blobs on the wall? They're just orbital lamps or Is that sort of like what's the the design decisions in some of these things? Watch out! I faced that kind of enemy so many times, it's like We know what you're about, mate, we know what you're about. Bim, dim, bim, dim. Dim, bim, bim, bim. Sorry, I keep singing the music because the music's good. <laughs> the evil be eye. That enemy's strong. I am wondering if they're going to actually reference that as the evil eye. Because it's got to be the evil eye, right? Like, I've not heard the phrase evil eye in relation to a skill or anything like that in a while. It may be Cold Steel. Well, I'll say a while. Let's start Cold Steel 3, I remember. I think it was in there you used it. When was the last time we had Evil Eye? Because I'm very, very sure, like... The Evil Eye is actually these things. Like, is it the same design? I might look at that. Someone let me know as well. Because I, I, I feel like you guys may be intrigued to go look it up as well and see if it is the same design for the Evil Eye. The Evil Eye has three irises and pupils. I do know that, so that might be the one bit of difference. This is the actual fight, though. Looks like it could be. We got a thingy ready for us. No special thing on the like door or anything like that this time. The time's come. Oh, you sense that? So much power in the air. You'd think it was rippling off in heat waves. I think even we're all picking up on that. It's like a raging wildfire. I'd say you're developing rather well if you can discern that much. You'd better be ready for anything. This power comes from beyond, governed not by the rules of this world, but by the divergent laws. It's impossible to even imagine what he could be capable of, if that's the case. 
You have some insight into that kind of stuff, though, don't you, Emma? McBurn is just a warm-up for the rivalry with the Ebon Knight. I don't want to even think what's waiting for us. I was like overkill, if you ask me. Knowing what McBurn's goal is, I doubt we'll have any choice but to fight him. But before that, I want to talk with him as much as possible so we can get some more intel. Not to steal Nina's idea on that one. Oh. A sound plan. He may reveal more than the fool did, if he's so inclined. Let's see if we can get him in the mood to talk. When it comes down to it, I wrote to my father to help you win this battle. Rina and Emma are required as attacking team members. As an exception, Panzer Soldats will be usable in battle against McBurn. Okay. Alright, so let me get healed up. There he is. Hello, mate. We just had like 50 borscht's. Man, took you guys long enough. Yeah, have you tried to eat that many, mate? I was getting fed up waiting here. Thought you might have died on the way or something. You just can't hold back anymore, can you? His overwhelming power is pouring out. The black flames that engulf all. McBurn, do you remember what you said to me two years ago? Interesting. You mix by any chance? Something foreign, unnatural, mixed into their body itself. Different to the church's stigmas. Looks like a pretty small part of it in your case, though. So how much of you is unnatural? All of me. Yeah. I remember our nice little chat on the Pantagruel. The Pantagruel? That must have been during the Civil War. So that's what they talked about. I finally understand what you meant back then. That part of me that was mixed in is Osborne's heart. It's not only the source of this power of mine, but also what connected me to the curse and made me a sacrifice. Maureen! <sighs> <laughs> Don't give me too much credit. I just had a hunch is all. But looking at you now... It's much more than just a small part of you. Nothing compared to me, though. Well, of course not. How could I compare, when you're not even from this world to start with? Right, McBurn? <clears throat> he he's not from this world? What does that even mean? Well, we know he's from the beyond. We discussed that, did we not? None of this makes any sense. We were raised to believe that this was the one true world created by Adios. In fact, we're incapable of even considering otherwise. The existence of angels and devils on other planes was as much as we were allowed to understand. Yeah, the key there is allowed. But we can't even contemplate the idea that anything might exist beyond the bounds of Zemuria. What do you... there's... Something beyond Zemuria? This is an example of the divergent laws. Things we simply cannot understand or even begin to explain. For example, no matter how far you try to fly or sail away from the continent, you're unable to progress past a certain point. The firmament. What? You're kidding me! The firmament! It's not a well-known phenomenon, but it was recently verified through research. Despite a number of attempts to figure out why, science simply can't give us an answer. It's the bloody firmament! Yet, similarly to the artifacts, it's something that backs the existence of Adios. Ah, oh, so that's where she comes in. By attributing everything we don't understand to Adios, we stop thinking for ourselves. Given my position, this isn't something I'm especially proud of, but the Church's stance is that so long as order is maintained in the world, we shouldn't do anything to disrupt it. The mages and witches of the Middle Ages weren't quite as commendable, however. As such, we theorize there must be something else behind all of the mysterious events we've noticed throughout the centuries. 
the divergent laws. In other words, the laws that govern what lies beyond the world Adios created. And at times, certain things from beyond make it into our world, causing inexplicable phenomena. The salt pale. <sighs> inexplicable phenomena? Now that you mention it... That does ring a bell, huh, Sarah? Oh. Yeah, it makes sense now. Inexplicable is the only word I can think of to describe the salt pale appearing in North Ambria 28 years ago. Yeah. It was an anomaly on a massive scale, but there was no evidence of it being related to a Septarian. I just noticed, just the title of the... like that document there, it says salt paling? Hmm. After it appeared, Father Barkhorn went to conduct an investigation on it. But to be honest, the church wasn't able to reach any kind of conclusion on where it came from, so it was simply deemed a manifestation of the goddess's powers. No one can blame them for that. We're all human in the end, and some things we simply can't understand. Yet, in spite of that, there was one group who became obsessed with discovering the truth behind it all. They were ravenous in their pursuit, willing to go to any length, no matter how vile or demonic. Wait! You don't mean... Yes, that's right. The Crossbell Police Force. The DG Cult. Though they focused their efforts in Crossbell, they were operating all over the continent. I wasn't far off of going with Crossbell. I mean, that was a joke, so... In truth, though, they were being controlled by the Kreuz family the whole time. <laughs> Say what you want about those cultists, but they pulled off something amazing. They're the ones who created Gnosis, a drug that frees you from the shackles of this world. Yeah. It's that odd thing of like, what does it do to people though? Like, I want more information on that. Like, what we got is interesting, but I'd like loads more, please. They made something like that? But more importantly, assuming this is all true, then... McBurn, you really are someone from beyond this world, aren't you? Hell, are you even human? <laughs> You're half right. What is that? The other half of me. The part of me from beyond. The half of me from here was human. That's why I look the way I do. And before you start asking, no. I don't remember a thing about what the other side is like. Damn it. Only thing I remember is when my two halves fused together. We collided. Ourselves mixing together so completely, there was no way to split us apart. And in the end, we became me. So that's what you meant when you said all of you was mixed. It's like when the Holy Beast and the Hexen Clan's Elder merged into one. No, Emma. He's on a completely different level from Rose. But if that's true, then... His true essence is that of a calamity given form. Just like the salt pail. Now you're starting to catch on. It's been 50 years since I appeared in this world. I've been trying to figure out what I really am the whole time. Trying to dredge up any scrap of memories from where I came from. Trying to figure out what I'm even doing here. The one thing I knew for sure was that I'd need to return to my original form to get everything back. Thing is, if I did that, I'd absolutely annihilate everything around me. Just like how the Salt Pail did. That's why this great Twilight business is the perfect chance. The reality of the world's already being twisted and warped by all this strife they're using to reforge the Great One. So I don't have to worry one bit if my true self COMPLETELY TEARS IT APART! Huh? Is he... a devil? A 
That's a hell of a name. Yes! This feels right! This is it! My memories are still missing, though. I figured as much. I was hoping I'd be able to take on Osborne. But I guess you'll have to do. Now, give me everything you got. Draw out my full power so I can get back everything I lost. I guess we have no choice. Class 7, prepare for battle. On my pride as a witch, I'll hold back this Calamity's flames. I'll back you up, but you guys better win, no matter what it takes! Right! Now this is a stage! Give me everything you got! Okay. So. What year is it? Like, not, not in, like, like our year, obviously, like, you know, like, like it, that, that's, that's not relevant to this. It's about, would you say, just over 50 years since the Orbital Revolution. And it's about 50 years since the disappearance, or supposed death, because I'm not convinced, supposed death of one Professor Epstein. And he said he fused, or was like, was mixed. Are you... Epstein? Is that where he's gone? That's where he, that's why he's like, oh, that's how he died. Because he's McBurn now, he's not him anymore. He has died, he's become something else. Maybe that's how he like is. Like, we know that we know we know that Epstein disappeared. That he's dead. In the r roughly the same timeline as when you appeared. Hmm. Anyway, best to get the fight going. But that's what's in my head right now. And that's what's in my head. He had some very other interesting things saying there. And I'm just wondering like it's going to be that case of like if he gets his memories back. Yeah! Is he gonna remember that? Let's go! Roar! Did I, oh. Uh, helix strike! It's down! And for all we know, Epstein it's could have like turn. stumbled across like a artifact of some sort. And became McBurn at that point, and McBurn as we know him, is responsible for the Orbal Revolution. Divine Shield. Protect Maybe. Us. It's just they pointed out the 50 years, and it's it was like the start of Sky and stuff like that. It had been 50 years since the Orbital Revolution. It was around the same time that Epstein died, so... And again, have we ever got the circumstances of how he died? Because that's the bit that makes me so suspicious, because it's like... I don't remember anyone ever mentioning how he died. They just die of natural causes. Was there a body? Was there a funeral? Was there? Me. And they they just mentioned him recently. On your knees. With camping. Yeah. Me about. So I'm just They're wondering. Open. Is that what we're going to learn after this fight? Like, oh, by the way. Because <laughs> that'll be a hell of a I'll revelation. Thanks. Yes. I'm liking the music here, though. This is very good. Well, let's go with Serene Blessing, make sure we get our CP coming back up. It's not burn after all, we gotta be careful here. It's my turn! Roar! It's down! Alice! How about this? Lyle, okay. Very well. Interesting. Get the complete, complete immunity shield. going again now. I'm up! Roar! Uh, helix strike! Now! Alice! 
I was hoping we could get it in. But no. Let's break for him. Yes! Okay, let's see about your prominence Nova, which again feels so wrong doing it on him, but I shall go. We know how it works. Let's get our CP built up again. I'll support. I can heal. Thank best. you. There. I've had my suspicions about McBurn potentially being someone like Epstein for a while. Which, like, to me, that's just sort of, like, topped it over into that. That's like what I was saying in, in the past, where it's like, I got thoughts and feelings about McBurn, but I wanted to save them until we met him next. Like, we met him now, and it's like, if anything, it only just sort of, like, reinforces my thoughts. Which is always good. That seems to be what's happening in here, in the Imperial Fortress. Again, it's, it's sort of like redefining my thoughts and being like, hey, by the way, you were right about this. I'll treat you immediately! But then you what that means going forward, that's where it's like, huh. It's my turn. It's like, it's, 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 it's that sort of thing, it's like, Protect I can only theory up to a certain point. With what the information we've got here, and it's sort it's of like, turn. yeah. I'd say it's that case of like, what they've done... Arcus, activate. ...is brought us to a point Very where it's well. like, all the pieces have been brought together, and now it's like, well that just raises more bloody questions, doesn't it? Okay, so let's get Noble off. Light the way. Noble Because we're about it's my turn. From the looks of it. Divine to get shield. a um Protect break us. on him. She just depends, obviously. Let's go! We'll go for it with Demon Unchained. Uh, yeah! Let's go! Roar! Uh, Helix strike! Now! Are you gonna go with that? <laughs> Harder! Turn up the heat! Oh. So close Divide. to having the break on it. And transform. That's what I was trying to get here. Sync complete. Brave mode on! Accelerate! Spread! And that's a great time to get a delivery as well. So, what, what, what happened? I had to get up and go get the delivery. Gotta do t-shirt in case anyone's wondering. Huh? None of my watch! I have no idea what happened. Sorry. This is the end. We are guarded off. I've got to remind myself where I am in the fight now. Should be protected against this. Ow. It's my turn. It's his turn, but jeez, come on now. Ha! I appreciate it. Thank you. Lovely. How about this? No CP at all, though. That's a danger to us. Very much a danger. I'm gonna go normal attack. Yes, I, I wanted a breaking dawn, so I keep missing that. Okay, so let's summon the Goliath. It's my turn. Hmm. Gotta go Divine platinum shield, shield really, haven't I? Protect us! Come forth! Goliath Noah! It's my turn. And that it is. I would like prominence. 
and over uh. again, but obviously can't get it. There! It's quite formidable. You may have noticed. Yes. Hmm. See about getting a bit more CP Healing going, so we'll need it. Thank you. You have my thanks. You're it's thinking this for out the frozen epoch. Uh, how about this? Nice miss. Now. Now, let's see, let's see. Damage reduction is not really what I'm after. So I'm feeling like going with that again. My turn. So I'll get my ATS up ready for his attack. And let's see about getting the CP up again. I'll support. RTMP, thank you. Yep. ATS ADF and movement down, ADF being down is nice, but it's, it's already turn. gone. You know, this is that issue. Green's just out of the range there. So let's actually move stuff up a bit. Yes! That music right now right now? Right now is reminding me of the yeah. opera from um Fifth Element. It's got the similar feeling to it. Thank you. Okay, I feel like we're in a good well. position with everything there. Like, make sure we get it on the rain. Protect us! And yourself, obviously. <laughs> Stop pushing him back and making us have to go further forward, Rain. Diamond Nova. Could easily cure Reen, but you know. We're okay though, we're, we're holding on, we're holding on. That's that's the important bit here. But you can see I'm going to win, it's just a matter of time. It's my turn. Unless he unleashes something. Uh, we don't need any of the buffs or anything. Let's go! Away with you! There's the ADF down, which is good. Yes! Diamond Nova. Well. Come on, come back to his reign. My turn. Ah, oh. I really, really want the bar. Right, right, right. activate fire. It's a shame we got yeah. the damage up when she's doing this with his ADF down. <laughs> that would have been lovely. It's my turn. Okay. The Amorim the Novae. Strengthening. Nice. Got a crit there. coming. Might use that crit. So close it's now. It's my turn. So, so close. Yes! If we can delay her by one, that would be good. Break damage, no. Noble arc, let's go for it again. It's my turn. It's there, it's like she's just uh... one arc. He's back! Because I do believe, like, Emma getting My the crit turn. would actually be better for us. The sort of thing is that I want to just use up... One turn, please. I 
nothing on there. get which is pushed by one well, let's go with the idea do we have any gift what into breaking dawn shine over us all eternally flow form is emptiness emptiness is for first Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight leaves, breaking dawn. Well, that's not fair. I would have had you. It's my turn. It didn't disappear, though. Burning flames. Purple flare. You've got to think of a way to get around that, then. It's my turn. Divine get shield. Going. Protect us. How about this? The bloody hell do you get around the shield? Take this! Okay. It's some kind of divergent barrier. Maybe I can handle it. Reed. Now is the time. Summon me. My turn! Alright. That's what we gotta do then. Set some of the Opal Gears there. Basically, we just do nothing there. It's my turn. Else. <laughs> just get around Take to ruin as quickly as possible then. Very well. Yes. It's my turn. It's my turn. All right, Rally Ma. Uh, I'm going. And just wait, because I can't do anything. Yes. My turn. So may as well get heavenly what? gift, I guess. Very well. Alright, so. On your let's knees. Get rid of him. Now. Now. Attack. It's my turn. It is. Burning flames. Let's see if burning flames works. Corpo flare. What is this? Oh dear. <laughs> Corpo flare. We won, but stay sharp, everyone. Destroyed him. Well, I want to say destroyed him, but like a, a, a fire attack worked. All right. Gloom level ten. Yeah. Still want Woden level ten. Give me that Woden level ten. Probably not gonna get it before the. What should, what should, be, what should be the final thing I get? Right before the final fight or something like that. All right, got it. Stats updated. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Yay! I. Uh, I did it. We know. This didn't crash. Huh? What's he doing? Ah, uh, so that's it. I spent all that time looking for answers. And it turns out... Are you? Hmm? You remember now? <laughs> that little rat Campanella sure got me good. And Ouroboros, huh? We couldn't have picked a better name than that. Well, that's very telling, then. Uh, um... He's back to normal. 
Ah, uh, how do I put this? Sorry for the trouble, guys. What? The hell's that coming from? Hold on just a second! <sighs> well, that was certainly unexpected. Is it safe to say you've accomplished that little goal of yours? Yeah, half of it at least. His voice is very different now. You can just feel it. Got to admit, you guys weren't too bad. I wasn't sure you'd pull it off. Guess I should have given you more credit. Since you took down the Steel Maiden and all. <sighs> I take it you're not going to answer our questions then? Look, I get that this is just the way you are. But we're not messing around here. A simple sorry's not gonna cut it. I expect a cake. If you really want to make it up to us, help us out. That's right. You'd make for quite the asset in our battle against the Ebon Knight. Nah. I'd just get in the way. His voice has such a different... flavor to it now? <sighs> a teleportation circle! I've got a new objective now. I think I'll pay Campanella and the Grandmaster a little visit. The Third Anguist, too. Got a few choice questions for them. Hmm. Should probably add the Abyss to that list. Yeah, I imagine a conversation with her would be interesting. Not sure if this makes up for all the crap I put you guys through. But here, Schwarzer, Ashen Knight. Take this. What is that? Wow! It's so pretty! A primordial flame. The purest essence of fire. <laughs> hey! What's happening? It's okay. I'm fine. Thank you, McBurn. I can feel just how powerful this gift is. Allow me to extend my thanks as well, Overlord of the Beyond. I have no doubt this will prove invaluable for the final rivalry. Glad to hear it. Just a heads up, you can probably only use it once. So make it count. Understood. I appreciate it. I don't plan on making friends with you or anyone else in Ouroboros. But, I wish you the best of luck, McBurn. I hope you find what you're looking for. Without causing any more trouble. <laughs> I'll do what I can. No promises, though. Well, Schwarzer, Class 7, try not to die, yeah? And Crow. Later. <laughs> so long, McBurn. the hell's his deal? Try to kick our ass one second and gang old chummy the next? Drive me nuts. Honestly, same. If only he had the change of heart before the fight. Would have saved us some time. My head hurts from all the unbelievable things he told us. Take it referring to the divergent laws and the mysteries of our world that were brought to light. My whole understanding of the world has just been shattered. I know it's overwhelming, but it may be best to set aside processing all of this for later. Again, it's just confirming things, I, 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 the, the firmament thing, like, that was a mistranslation, right, in the first game in FC, but it stuck in my head and became a theory and now it's a thing? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe they knew. Yeah, we have a way more pressing issue to deal with right now. Right, the Great Twilight. At least that's something I more or less understand. Let's come back to all the revelations from Maroboros after we've wrapped up everything else. Next battle should mark the grand finale to this story. We have reached the final destination of this long journey after all. Of course, and if we manage to avert this impending disaster, it will still be the aftermath of the war to deal with. The end's not in sight just yet. 
coming right up to the climax on this long series of events. Shall we head out? Don't see why not. We got McGurn's gift to try out, don't we? For now, how about you go back to the garden, Valimore? And you should come with us, Minium. Shut up! We don't have far to go, but we must not let down our guard until the end. Alright, well, that is probably going to be where I end this part. It's probably a long part, but I think you'd appreciate it at this point, yes. So, in the next part, I think we'll head back to the garden, because I feel like we'll be able to talk to Valimar based on what they just said there. So, we'll see you in the next part, back in the garden. Ta-da for now.